Relationships in Power BI is a bit different compared to the different database management system because in Power BI there is a direction on relationship and the direction of a relationship in Power BI plays a critical role in the way that filtering works. And understanding the direction of this relationship is important towards the modeling in Power BI. In this session, we will learn about the direction of the relationship. What is the difference between both directional or single directional? We will also look at a DAX function called cross filter. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ask MCT Chris. Before we start, let's watch my intro. I have here my Power BI desktop and my model only consists of three tables the products table, the reseller table, and also the date table. And you will see that the relationship between the products and the reseller sales is one is to many, and also the deem product and the reseller sales is one is to many. And the cross filter on both of these relationship is a single cross filter direction because the arrow is just pointing to the many side. Now let's go into the visualization and create a visualization in here. So I'm going to get the calendar year from the dim date and I'm going to get also the sales amount from the reseller sales and I'm going to also get the English product name from the dim product and I'm going to do an aggregation in here of a discount or distinct count. And you will notice that the count of the English product name keeps on repeating. And this is because that if we go back to our data model, the relationship between the reseller sales and the product is a one is to many. And in here it is also one is to many. And it does not filter from the many side to the one side because this is a single cross filter direction. If I change this cross filter direction into both and apply the security filter in both direction, what we are telling Power BI is don't just filter the one is to many, also filter the many is to one. So even if we get the year in here, it will filter it through to the dim product because of that both direction. And if we look at the visualization, it has already properly uh, taken the count of English product name. But sometimes that is not what we wanted. We don't want to change this to both. So what we need to do is use a function. So I'm just going to put that back to single and create a new measure in my products table. And then I'm going to use the calculate and name this as number of products. Use the calculate. And then the what I'm calculating is a distinct count on the English product name, close bracket, and the filter on my calculate function would be the function called cross filter. We pass on the reseller sales, which is the product key, and then pass on also the product key from our dim product table, close bracket, and then comma and then put in the filter direction, which is the both. Close bracket to close the cross filter, close bracket to close the calculate function. After doing that, we will now parse it. 
and once that has been parsed, we can now go back to our visualization and place that number of products onto our table and you will notice now that it has properly taken the number of products sold in that particular year. So, in summary, cross-filter is a useful function to change the direction of the relationship. You can use this method instead of changing the direction in the relationship itself. I hope you've learned something from this session. If you like this session, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe for more tips and tricks from me. Thank you for watching.